we are nearing the tail end of the initial free agency spree in the NFL, and the crop of available wide receivers has begun to shrink. What was one of the positions of need for the Miami Dolphins, the team was only able to add one legit pass catcher in Cedric Wilson over the first week of the new league year. Unless the team has a trade or hidden deal up their sleeve, then it looks like the Dolphins will have to spend some draft capital in order to address the position. Luckily for Miami, the 2022 draft class is a good one for wide receivers, especially for those teams who own picks later on in the first round as the Dolphins do. There are very few draft prediction outlets that have any receivers getting picked in the top 10, and not many predicting top 15 picks. The truth is, pretty much any one of the wide receivers that is projected to be selected in the first round could drop down to Miami at 29. They certainly won't get their pick of the crop, but depending on what the teams in front of them do, don't be surprised to see any of the following names available when they are on the clock. In fact, the only wide receiver we are leaving off of the list is Garrett Wilson of Ohio State, who will very likely be taken in the top 20. Here are four wide receiver prospects who could possibly fall to the Miami Dolphins at pick number 29. Chris Olave. Of the players on this list, Olave has the least chance to fall to the bottom of the first round. It is very possible that the first two wide receivers taken off the board are both of the Ohio State boys, so the Dolphins probably won't have to make a decision on Olave, which could be a tough one, depending on what they are looking for. Olave has the speed and agility to make NFL teams salivate, but he is very in the mold of a Jalen Waddle when it comes to size. While he has possibly the best hands of anyone in the 2022 draft class, he struggles to gain yards after the catch despite his quickness. This is something that might turn the Dolphins away, given McDaniel's focus on and affinity for yards after the catch. In fact, if Olave is the receiver that drops to Miami, watch for them to move down a couple of spots and gain some extra capital. There should be someone that wants to move up and take arguably the second best wide receiver. Traylon Burks. Traylon Burks from the University of Arkansas is the most likely candidate for a drop down the draft board. Most outlets and experts have him ranked as the fourth or fifth best wide receiver in the class, meaning that there is a good chance that he is available at number 29. Burks has the size that NFL teams covet in their wide outs. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall and weighs 225 pounds, and is described as one of the strongest receivers in the class. But it is his versatility that would make him attractive to the Dolphins. He was used all over the field at Arkansas, even lining up in the backfield at times. The comparison to Debo Samuel, albeit a bigger version, is undeniable, and should stick out like a sore thumb to one Mike McDaniel. There are a few red flags to Burke's game that would need to be addressed. One of the biggest knocks is his route running, which is something that could hopefully be taught by a guy like wide receiver coach Wes Welker. Drake London. USC's Drake London was one of the most dominant wide receivers in the college game in 2021. In just eight games played, the junior was able to put up nearly 1,100 yards and catch seven touchdowns. While his numbers were impressive, he passes the eye test with flying colors, too. London has great height, standing at 6 feet 5 inches tall, but has a bit of a wiry frame that will be worked on at the next level. London is regarded as the best possession receiver in the class and is a strong runner with the ball, a good combination for yards after catch. But one trait that he has that will be ultra-attractive to Mike McDaniel is his ability in the run-blocking game. The new Dolphins head coach has spoken about the importance of wide outs that can block in his running schemes, and London is excellent in that regard. One of the most widely used comparisons for London is Keenan Allen, a player type that any team would love to get their hands on. It is somewhat unlikely that he will drop all the way down to 29, but the exact order of the wide receiver hierarchy for the 2022 class is generally disputed. Jamison Williams. Adding Jamison Williams across the field from Jalen Waddell would be a potentially dynamic duo. Like his predecessor at Alabama, Williams would bring blazing speed, the kind that won Missouri State Championships in track during his high school days. He is an excellent route runner, which is a deadly trait when combined with his quickness. Jamison has been compared to another one of his predecessors, Jerry Judy, and maybe even more explosive. While he may not have the same height as some other players on this list, Williams is not necessarily small, standing two inches over six foot. It is rarely an issue, however, as he makes up for any shortcomings with an exceptional set of hands. But the biggest red flag, and the reason why there could be a potential drop down the draft board in his future, is Williams's injury that he sustained in the national championship game. Early reports are that he is ahead of schedule in his recovery from his torn ACL, but it is still unknown whether or not he will be ready for the start of training camp. 
the Miami Dolphins could be wary about adding a receiver with the potential for an injury history after dealing with Devontae Parker recently, but he would be the best player available at a position of need if he were to drop to the 29th spot.